In 2015, we saw music such as Pipe It Up and One Time. They weren't quite the mainstream hits such as Versace, Bando, or Hannah Montana. And if that wasn't bad enough, remember Offset was arrested and charged with possession of marijuana as well as possession of a firearm. Spending eight months in jail for the second time while his running mates released Young Rich Nation and parted ways with 300 Entertainment. The album only sold 14,500 copies his first week. But in 2016, that was the year when things started to land in place and the dominoes began to fall for the Atlanta trio. The dad was popular and the Migos rode the way with their dance track, Look at My Dab. Also that year, Quavo set himself apart from the group as he began to establish himself as the guy to count on if you needed a hook. Featured on songs like Pick Up The Phone, Keys To The Streets, and Champion by Kanye West. With Quavo's rise, there was a sudden hint of anticipation for the Migos, but no one could predict exactly what would happen next. In late October, Migos released Bad and Bougie. You in a drop top and it started raining or something off that? <laughs> like, I, nah, I was at the house. I was just recording. Just, and I heard that beat. See that that part when I do the woo woo. When I do that part, I, I said that because when I was about to record my verse, when I heard the when I when when the beat dropped, I didn't know what to say. That just came out like originally, and I was like, ooh, I paused and I was like, man, this beat so hard. But then when I played it back and I heard it, I said, oh, no, I'm finna keep that. So yeah. From week ending December 22nd. The song racked up 17.5 million weekly streams, increasing 42%. And according to Billboard, the single jumped from position 15 to 8 in the month of January, earning Migos their first top 10 record. During his acceptance speech for the hit show Atlanta, Donald Glover thanked the rap group, claiming it was the best song ever. The song saw a 243% increase on the streaming platform Spotify. They even performed on Jimmy Kimmel Live. With an infusion of memes, tweets, and social media, Migos had a hit on their hands. With the release of Culture, the album, Migos were riding high in 2017. The mesmerizing Bad and Bougie catapulted the album to platinum status with the help of other singles such as Slippery and their fur exhibiting t-shirt video. Migos' run spilled over into the summer with several features and collaborative projects. Quavo could be seen on singles such as Congratulations and Drake's Portland. Offset had a long list of music long after Culture. Featured on Gucci's Met Gala, Nav's Minute, and Metro Boomin's No Complaints showed Offset could hold his own. He even released a surprise project without warning, which featured six records on Billboard Hot 100, while Takeoff was featured on Gucci Mane's Billboard hit, I Get The Bag. And just when you thought Migos' mania was dying down, they're closing out the year the same way they closed out 2016. Motorsport, the leading single from the up-and-coming Culture 2 album, was released in late October quickly rising up the Hot 100 charts, reaching the 14th spot in as little as five weeks. And with the help of an amazing sci-fi visual, expect the song to continue to rise. If Culture 2 is as nearly as good as the previous album, we can assume that 2018 will be all about Migos. <laughs>